So, in today's episode of Tech Tips, let's go over piston heads, the good, the bad, the ugly, what I'd recommend, what it should fit, what it shouldn't fit. We're going to go over aluminium piston heads first. Now these are something personally I wouldn't recommend. Now the reason I don't recommend aluminium piston heads and the initial thought of people is, well they're aluminium, they're going to be well made, they're going to be strong, they're going to work well. Correct, they're strong, they work well, they add a little bit of weight to the piston but that's not the end of the world unless you're doing some really really high speed DSGs. The problem with aluminium piston heads is as follows. What can happen is, as the piston's travelling down the piston rails through the cylinder, imagine this is your piston in the gearbox, we've got a piston head on there. There we go. As it's travelling down the uh, gearbox, it'll move a little bit on the rails. Mostly at the front, it'll knock up and down the cylinder. So as you can imagine, that's going up and down, and what's going to happen is, it's actually going to cause scratching on the cylinder. And hopefully you'll be able to see in the video, this is a particularly egregious example of it. If you can just see in the right light, I'll take pictures if not. But all the inside of this has been scratched, all the paint's been removed. Now, that wouldn't happen with a plastic piston head. Now, there is a bit of a trade-off, they are a little bit weaker. Now, if you find a piston head that works for you and you find is reliable, stick with it. I particularly like the ASG Ultimate Series, I've just whipped this one out of the packet from my stock, it's brand new. This is the ASG POM Vented Piston Head, it's got a set of ball bearings on the back, comes with all the gubbins you need, gives a nice consistent air seal every time. I've had none of these fail. They have changed the design recently to more mirror this SHS style sort of new pro look, and it's also just as reliable. So I'd recommend one of those. Now the, the difference is over an aluminium and a, a plastic one is, the plastic one isn't going to scratch the living crap out of your cylinder. So it's going to, the build generally is going to last a lot longer. Now I'll quickly go over and I'll show you a better example on this Aztec piston head. Now I do like Aztec as a company, they're a really innovative company, but sometimes they do miss the mark. I like the piston head, but every one I've fitted, I've had scratching issues because it's aluminium. Now they could alleviate that by putting a piece of um, I don't know, poly, uh, polyprop around the outside or something like a softer, a softer plastic, and that would just alleviate the issue. But as you can see in, on the picture, you can see there's no wear around the outside edge, nice uh, golden colour, until it reaches here, and you can see this is where the wear part has you know, began. Now I've ripped this out of a DSG, so it's sort of, you're talking about 50 RPS, so you're going to notice wear quicker. And after one game day, this occurred, and it also knackered the cylinder to boot. So, I ended up having to fit an ASG Ultimate plastic piston head. This video is aimed towards amateur techs who aren't quite sure what components to get, so, you know, by all means, drop in the comments what you prefer to use. I'll respond where I can, and I always check and read the comments anyway. And look, so you've got two options of plastic piston heads and metal ones. You've either got a flat variant, or you've got sort of like a, a mushroom shaped one. Now these are called silent piston heads. Now they're not really silent, they do help reduce the slap noise in the gearbox a little bit. They normally come with a cylinder head shape like that. So as they marry together, they marry nice and flush. As you can tell, this is a standard cylinder head. This will not marry nice and flush. Do not get one of those and leave your stock cylinder head. It will make unnecessary wear, or cause unnecessary wear on the piston. It will not alleviate any slapping noise. If you can, go for a plastic one over a metal one, for the reasons I've just priorly stated. And if you can't get a hold of these, by all means go for one of these. Now this is the new Prol one or SHS2 one extremely similar. And that's pretty much all I need to mention in the tech tips. You just plastic over metal. Now if you do insist on having a metal one, say a DMR build, something slightly lower rate of fire, you can get, uh, I know Max Model do one, a double O-ring piston head. <clears throat> now that'll be nice and reliable, it'll give you a really nice consistent air seal. 
but for high rate of fire, a double o-ring can cause a few issues, so keep that in mind. So that's all my tech tips for today, and I'll get another one done as soon as I get a minute. Cheers chaps.